Hi, my name is Moroban Kawe. I'm one of the producers of Mandela's Gun, which is the film that is opening the Joburg International Film Festival. We're very excited to have our film as the opening night film and we hope that everyone enjoys it. Um, I think it's really significant that the film's world premiere is happening right here on the African continent and more specifically here in Johannesburg. I think it honors all the various people and organizations, not only here at home, but throughout the continent who've given immense support for this film and have helped to get us to where we are today. So we're finally, after very many years, ready to release this film to the public and we're very excited and hope that everyone um, can enjoy the fruits of our labor. Hi, my name's Richard Desai. I'm the director of The Giant is Falling. It's a brand new film. It's going to be our world premiere. Uh, then we go on to the biggest documentary film festival in the world in Amsterdam. I'm really hoping the audiences will turn out. It's, it's very relevant. It's, it's about the students. It's about the decline and fall from grace from, of the ANC. Uh, it's about the EFF all packaged around our government, which we had so much hopes for, our movement, which we had so much hopes for. It's great to have it in a genuinely cinematic African film festival where there's great films. I mean, the, the competition that we face in the competition is so stiff, you know. Just to be in that competition, I'm feeling so proud because of, you know, I know those filmmakers, I know some of the titles. Um, so it's a wonderful lineup which nobody, any cinema lover, cannot miss. Not if you love Africa, that is. Uh, my name is Dumi Langa. I am the youth program manager for the um, Joburg Film Festival. And we're here today to launch the inaugural edition of the Joburg Film Festival. Well, the film festival is, um, I guess, a celebration of African uh, excellence. Um, and yeah, shining a light on our stories as African people. Um, yeah. Hi, my name is David Max Brown. I'm a producer. Uh, and the film that I've been working on, actually as a supervising producer, uh, is on a film called The Whale Caller, which is directed by Zola Maseko. And it's based on a book uh, written by Zeg Zimda. So uh, we're very proud to have it here at this festival, the inaugural Joburg Film Festival. Uh, it'll be screening on the 30th, on Sunday the 30th, at The Zone in Rosebank. Um, and yeah, we hope people come in their droves. <laughs> yeah, so our film The Whale Caller is set in Hermanus. And it's uh, kind of like a magical, realist film. It's a very beautiful film. Uh, I'd say at its core it's a love story. But it's a very unusual film because it's about a man, the whale caller, who's in love with a whale. <laughs> and the woman who's pretty much the town drunk who's in love with him and uh, it's they they have an on-off relationship all the way through the film but his real calling is with this whale who comes he's got this beautiful kelp horn that he blows and the whale comes and it's been coming for the last 40 years every year and that's like his passion you know and he has to wake up I suppose and realize what's really going on like in the real world you know so um, yeah there's Dots of love and two people and a fish. <laughs> My name is Libona Mayama. I am a Afro cinephile, a lover of African cinema, and I am currently the director of the Joburg Film Festival, a new baby on the film festival landscape in South Africa and across the African continent that uh, has really big dreams of becoming one of the best film festivals on the continent and that in its launch edition, I am confident uh, is starting on the right note. We will be showcasing 60 new films. We have a multitude of world premieres, of African premieres, including six South African world premieres, uh, and the African premiere of Akino Motoso's Vaya, the world premiere of uh, a film that we've all been anticipating by Zola Maseko called The Whale Caller. Zola Maseko hasn't made a full-length feature since his days on uh, Drum, which did very well. So this is his uh, second feature after that. And uh, of course, uh, from a South African perspective, we've also got uh, Mandela's Gun, 
uh, that uh, features uh, Tumisho Masha, uh, finally a South African playing uh, Madiba, uh, and uh, I believe uh, having done a great job uh, at that as well. And we have a multitude of African uh, features and uh, documentaries uh, as well.